from all this stroke in my dick. I got no shit on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm on this fuck, man. I'm a freak, man. I'm very sorry for the very bad audio quality. Um, this is because I'm recording on a really shitty laptop mic. I don't have my own microphone, and if I did, I'd sound a lot better. Also, I have a stuffed up nose, so sorry. This is going to be, um, off the cuff, very unscripted. I just have a set of questions that people ask me, either through my community post or through my Discord that I ask people for. So thank you all for anyone who participated, and thank you to everyone who subscribed to me. I know we just hit, like, I'd say 260, 265 at the moment, but thank you. This is a milestone I did not achieve. I couldn't even dream of achieving, to be honest. It's something that, it's just like picturing 250 of you guys in a room. It's, it's stressing me out because, like, damn, that's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who subscribe to me. There's a lot of people that support my work. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for listening to a 14-year-old who's making bad music in his ba in his space. I meant bedroom. I meant bedroom. Sometimes I make music in my basement. Mostly in my bedroom. Sorry for any um clashing noise, some background noise. Um, I'm currently in my mom's house, which has pretty thinning walls, so sorry for the noise. So going through my two questions I got on my community post. The first one comes from George Tanner who says, when did I get the idea to make music? Um, so basically, I've been always been a musical person since the day I was born. As my dad told me that I used to bang on pots and pans, I used to have a sense of rhythm and tempo and stuff like that. So even as a baby, I was very musical and very, you know, intelligent with that sort of stuff. When I was seven, I used to make really bad music on garage band but it's still a step in the right direction like i don't think a seven-year-old was making the kind of music in garage band but well i mean they were but i was trying to take it semi-seriously and then in 2020 when i was around 12 i'd say i got my for my computer and i would i had fl studio and that's how i made all my music on fl studio with a pretty bad version of the free trial second one comes from alka deor man i hope that i pronounced right but he said, or they said, who exactly is Ferris Jones? Um, Ferris Jones is a character I created back in, I'd say, 2020 um, with my friend Alice, who you'll see pop up in, um, in later on in the video. Basically, he's this hitman who kills people for money, like hitmen do. And then later on, his boss kills his mother, and then he goes insane, and then kills the boss back in revenge. Basically, he's my vent pussy. Our first Discord question comes from Caden Hexagon, who said, who, what is my favorite movie? Um, if you didn't know, my favorite movie is End of Evangelion by Hideki Anno. It is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my lifetime. It's a very odd movie, and it's a movie I don't think a lot of people get. Hell, I, I don't even get it most of the time, but like, you watch it and you're just amazed because it has some of the greatest animation I've ever seen. It's a, it's a mindfuck at most, and it's one of the best mindfucks I've ever seen one is two questions sent by the same person the first one coming from emma is what is my favorite youtubers and musicians i my favorite youtubers at the moment are like people like tom scott a lot of wendigoon a lot of people make these informative but fun content about like deep dives and the stuff i think are interesting my favorite is wendigoon though i love his content it's so cool second question from emma is what what content do i consume on a daily basis um, usually I consume a lot of long form essays because I like to have them in the background while I say like play games or talk to my friends. There's a lot of stuff I can have in the background while I chill out. So yeah, that's why I like a lot of stuff like when to go. I also like a lot of music content. I like a bunch of Captain Pickens or Simon Servita, some music review channels like Wonky Ang or Brad Taste Music. People like that are just super fun to watch. I love their content a lot. But I also like some video game content. I've I, I've grown off of them, but I still do like Markiplier, Fairbairn, a lot of stuff like 8-Bit Ryan and stuff like that, but I have a pretty varied taste in content, I guess. Another double question coming from Bibby. Her first question is, how do I use my creativity in my music? Um, usually I'd use this doing samples, like, I'll grab a sample of something, and I'll try to manipulate it in a way samples usually aren't manipulated. <clears throat> um, usually I'll try to stretch it out, I'll try to add a bunch of effects, just trying to make the sample sound as less like a sample as possible, more of like, its own thing, not like, it's kind of like, you're not supposed to recognize this as a sample, you're supposed to see it as its own thing. Second question coming from Baby is, is it difficult to come by new ideas, or do they come by naturally? Um, usually they come by naturally, um, it is sometimes difficult to get some new ideas, but usually I kind of overcome that pretty easily, 
But sometimes when I'm looking for ideas, I'll look at an image or something like that, and I'll try to get concept out of that image. Like, I'd see, like, a very cold and desolate image, and that's why I came up with Hell is Frozen Over. Or I'll see, like, or I get, like, a concept in my head, like, oh, well, about this general theme of this, or this general, or this general theme of that. But, like, I'll try to just put my own spin on it to make it feel, well, more me, more of my own. So I'll try to put my own spin on it, and I'll try to, you know, just make it more personal. That's how I usually get my own ideas. My friend Mikey said, what is my favorite video game? If you do not know already, my favorite video game is Kikiyama's Yume Nikki. It is one of my favorite video games ever made. Well, it is my favorite, but it's one of those ones that have like a profound impact on me. I still remember the day I played it and I was, it was such a weird experience because it's about this girl who transverse, tra transverses, what the, traverses her dreams and then goes and finds these effects and how you win is getting all the effects that's how you get the ending but it's not about winning it's about just exploring these places and it's so odd like it actually feels like a dream how everything is so nonsensical everything just feels so random it feels like a dream because it feels like you're taking something and you're just you're trying to process it but you can't process it it just becomes a random garbled mess of things it is such a good video game if you can it's free on steam so Please, please, for the love of God, play it. This one comes from the gray man, who says, do I like school? Um, I really don't like school. Um, it's kind of where I live. I live in a very small community in this, in the province of Newfoundland, in Canada. But I just, eh, I guess it's because we're so small, because our teachers are very long. They've been there for very long. I don't know why I said it like that, but our teachers just stay there for very long. And for most new teachers, well, they're not the best teachers. Like, there are some really good new teachers, but some of the new teachers just don't know how to teach. But when you're in such a small community, any teacher is a good teacher. It doesn't matter how well they can teach. If they can teach, that's it, because we're so low on teachers. This one comes from Spruce, and they say, am I mentally insane? And if you've listened to anything I've made, or hear me talk, or hear me in a conversation, the definitive answer is yes. This one comes from my friend Chewy, and he says, how did I come up with my name? Uh, the name is pretty edgelordy, looking back on it, you know, Neko Suicide. It's a 14-year-old it's edgelord name to end all 14-year-old edgelord names. But for me, it was, I made it when I was half asleep. Like, I was coming up with new ideas because I wanted a new persona, I guess. A new alias to branch out on, to branch out, maybe make some more experimental, more noise-driven music than the ones I was making at the time. And I was like, oh, what well, would be a new kind of harsh, aggressive name to match this new harsh, aggressive output I'm making. And that name popped in my head. I'm like, wow, that's a really good name. So yeah, I made that when I was half asleep trying to look for a cool name. There isn't any meaning behind it. I don't think there will ever be any meaning behind it, but if you want to take your own meaning behind the name Neko Suicide, then go ahead. Also, it's Neko, not Niko. Like I've heard people say, it's not Niko. It's Neko, Neko, not Ni, Niko, okay? Just get that out of the way because I've heard people say it before like that. Second to last question comes from Alice, and he says, "What is my favorite song in album I've ever made?" <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. My favorite album I've ever made is easily what well, switches between the Rise and Fall of Ferris Jones and Hell Is Frozen Over. Um, right now I'm going to give it to the Rise and Fall of Ferris Jones because I don't know. It's a very personal album. It's an album I think I injected a lot of myself into. But Hell is Frozen Over is at a close second. But my favorite song I've ever made is easily Hell is Frozen Over Part 1. It's one of the songs I come back to. I'm like, holy shit, I made this. It's one of those things where I come back to. I'm like, wow, this is something I made. Like, this is something. If this wasn't made by me, I considered it one of my favorite songs of all time. Because it just sounds like something I would listen to. something that I would enjoy. But going by that logic, um... A lot of other songs I like are Shot Down and Ditch and Left Rock right from Bound by Chains and Ripped in Half. Um, Fade Out, Free Online Games, and Y2K Motherfuckers from Nostalgia Unlimited. Um, Fair Jones Enters a Lonely House, an Empty House, and um, Best Score from The Rise Fall Fair Jones. I also really like House Rose Over Part 2. Also, Purple Moonlight from the Luna EP. And yeah, that's it. That's the only ones that can come go off the top of my head. And our final question comes from that blast, who says, um, "Am I hyped for Spider-Man Verse Two? Um, Spider-Verse Two, why Spider-Man? Um, yes, I really like that. I really like the trailers. 
I really like um, Into the Spider-Verse, the first one. It's one of my favorite movies ever made. Um, I'm really hyped to see what they do. And also the fact that it's going to be the longest, anime mu mu longest animated movie ever is um, it's, it's kind of hyping me up, you know. I'm hoping it comes out pretty soon so I can watch it. All the questions. That is all the questions. I would like to thank all of you for subscribing. Um, I, it's insane kind of comprehending 2,250 of you guys. Um, kind of subscribing to me. It's insane, really. To think that is insane. It's a number I can't really wrap my head around. Just knowing that 250 of you guys subscribed and thought my music was good enough to subscribe, just thanks. I can't, I can't understate this enough. I can't overstate this enough. I can't, I can't say this enough. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all have a good day, and thank you for hearing me ramble. Bye.